Distal is a word we use in medicine that means farther away from the center point of the body. For example, your foot is distal to your knee or your elbow is distal to your shoulder because it's farther away from the center of your body. So in this video, we have a distal ingrown toenail, meaning out at the end of the toe. So this young woman had injured the nail and as it grew out, it couldn't get up over the, the skin at the end of the toe, which kind of got enlarged a little bit. And so the nail was growing right into that skin. So this is a video of just removing a distal ingrown toenail. So how did this happen? Um, I got up in the middle of the night to nurse my 10-month-old daughter and honestly got caught in my carpet. I didn't even feel it. I was nursing her, we were laying down, and then I realized that my foot was bleeding, so I had to call my husband in. Oh, and so the whole nail kind of came off? Yeah, it came off except for the bottom part. So I, I actually left it on, um, so it didn't fall off. It, it like separated, but I left it on thinking that was going to be better to protect it. Okay. And what I didn't realize was that a nail was growing underneath my other nail. Right, so you can kind of see that line right there. Mm -hmm. it, and this is the old nail, and that's the new nail. And what we haven't seen on the YouTube channel before is that this is growing down, boom, into there. We call this a distal ingrown toenail. So it's not on the side like we usually see it. Mm -hmm. It's down up and under here. So what we're going to need to do is just free it up which I could never do without numbing your toe first. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right. So we got to find the actual edge, which is right here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get that out of the skin and then trim back as much as we can. There we go. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. With your ability not to scream? Uh, that too, but also we tried and tried to do this. Right. You could never do this without numbing it. Yeah. Holy oh, oops. Whoa. Just make it sure you're still in the frame here. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so now that we've got that edge, we can trim it across and get it out of the skin. That's part of it. I, I think most of that old nail is going to come right off. Okay, perfect. Whoa, that's not. So the old nail is off now, yep. and the new nail will just kind of have to watch it as it grows back in. Okay. And it may grow in exactly fine. Okay. But it may not, so we'll okay. just kind of, I just want to make sure I'm not leaving any little yep. pieces there. Skin. Up in here. All right. So this skin 
right here mm -hmm. might be a little bit sensitive yep. for a couple days. Yep. So I would just keep some, like a triple antibiotic okay. ointment on it. Okay. And just like a pain, normal pain? Yeah, just Tylenol or Advil. But again, I think when the anesthetic wears off, this is going to feel better than it did when you walked in. Perfect. So I'm going to put kind of a big bulky dressing on it just because the skin bleeds a lot here. Yep. And then you can take that off after an hour or so. Okay. And just put... Um, little like Neosporin or Bacitracin. And shower and everything just the same? Yep, and just replace the antibiotic and the band-aid when you're done. Okay, perfect. All right, so. And then I'm thinking if you wanted, just so we can kind of keep an eye on it as it's growing out, if you wanted to make an appointment like in a month. Sure. And come on back and let me take a look at it. And that way, if it's having trouble getting up over the skin here, yep. we can do that putting cotton under the front edge thing. Ah, uh, okay, yep. Okay, yep. well thank you for letting me do the video. Yeah, absolutely.